Antarctica is a frozen capsule of the past on the isolated continent, and time stands still for ages. Mysteries have remained latent in the ice, meteorites, fossils, particles from above. The extreme cold of Antarctica has hidden them for millennia. But now with modern tools, researchers have begun to unlock its secrets, and they are shocking. Join us as we reveal the most mysterious discoveries ever made in Antarctica. In a far corner of Antarctica, where the ice never melts and the wind blows strongly, a group of researchers made a surprising discovery. Under the snow and ice, they found remains of old stones from a structure that must have existed thousands of years ago. The blocks were very well cut, and had special details that had never been seen in Antarctica. This shows that at some point Antarctica may have had people living there. Although the stones have been worn over time, they show that the ancient builders were very skilled. They found ancient objects around the ruins that came from places very far away from Antarctica. Based on the age and type of objects, researchers think the structure could have been an ancient post. Although there is much we still do not understand, the ways in which they cut and laid the stones indicate that they knew how to build with stone very well. The structure was made to withstand the Antarctic cold and wind, with thick walls and sloping roofs to withstand strong winds and prevent snow from accumulating. This finding shows that in the past there were people living here and adapting to the extreme climate. Although we wonder how they built something like this in such a difficult place, the stones and how they are placed tell us that they were brought from very far away, which means that they had ways of traveling long distances. Although we don't know much about this ancient society, its way of building and the objects we find make us think of other ancient civilizations. There are still many questions, but these ruins show us that at one time, Antarctica could have had human activity, despite how inhospitable it is now. Allen Hills 84001, known as ALH 84001, is a fragment of a meteorite from Mars that was discovered in the Antarctic region of Allen Hills. It was found on December 27, 1984 by a team of American meteorite hunters from the ANSMED project. This meteorite, weighing 1.93 kilograms, belongs to the Shergatite Naklite Chassignite group and is believed to have formed approximately 4.09 billion years ago from Martian, molten rock. Its Martian origin has been confirmed by chemical analysis, which revealed the presence of liquid water on the surface of Mars in that period. The discovery of ALH 84001 in Antarctica is due to terrain conditions that make it easier to detect objects that do not belong in the environment. The ANSMED project carries out annual expeditions to Antarctica, where they have found impressive rocks. It was Roberta Esker, Antarctic Meteorite Laboratory Manager, who discovered it in the remote western Allen Hills ice field. In 2005, Research was carried out to study the origin of ALH 84001. According to analyses, the meteorite appears to have broken off from Eos Chasma in the Valles Marineris Canyon, due to a meteorite impact approximately 17 million years ago. Radiometric dating studies indicate that ALH 84001 arrived on Earth about 13,000 years ago. This meteorite has generated great interest due to the possible signs of biological life that have been suggested in it. In 1996, a group of experts claimed to have found evidence of Martian microorganisms in the meteorite, sparking intense debate. Although this theory was quickly rejected by the majority of the scientific community, it set a precedent for future advances in the field of astrobiology. Although the existence of Martian life in this meteorite has not been confirmed, its study has been fundamental in exploring the possibility of alien microorganisms on other celestial bodies. This reminds us that even if ALH 84001 did not contain fossilized bacteria, we should not rule out the possibility of extraterrestrial life hidden in the core of other meteorites. In the Top Copy Palace Library in Istanbul, there is the Pyri Reis map, an ancient document created in 1513 by the Ottoman cartographer Pyri Reis. It is one of the first maps showing the Americas and was made using pre-Columbus sources. Discovered in 1929 by German theologian Paul Cayley, 
it generated interest and debate among scholars. The Pyrrhi Reese map accurately depicted the coast of Antarctica long before its official discovery. It shows the Antarctic continent at its correct longitude and latitude, with defined valleys and mountain ranges. The coastline surprisingly matches modern maps. How could 16th century cartographers map a continent that would not be explored until centuries later? This map challenges preconceptions about ancient cartographic knowledge, suggesting advanced navigation skills and mathematical understanding in ancient civilizations. The existence of precise maps prior to human discovery indicates the influence of unknown advanced cultures. Some speculate that the map is based on sources more than 10,000 years old, even suggesting extraterrestrial origins, or the legendary Atlantis. As technology advances, previously questioned details are revealed to be accurate. What secrets could the map reveal under modern analysis? How did they achieve such precision with limited tools? Lingering questions about the Pyrrhi Reese map point to civilizations more advanced than imagined. The Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory is under the ice in Antarctica and was built between 2005 and 2010. It has more than 5,000 optical sensors on cables in the ice. It detects very small particles called neutrinos from cosmic events in space. Its goal is to study high-energy neutrinos from astronomical sources such as stars and black holes. During installation, Ice Cube researchers found something surprising in the cold, dark water beneath the ice, a squid-like creature that could change its shape in unique ways. As the camera zoomed in, the creature changed its shape as if imitating the team. This led some to suggest that it could be a new, unknown species. Their physics-defying shape-shifting abilities suggest a unique ecosystem in Antarctica, under the ice for thousands of years. These puzzling abilities indicate complex life forms in underground lakes and seas, with unprecedented characteristics. The Ice Cube team recognized images of the creature, captured by a camera lowered 1,300 meters into hole 13. Although the depth estimates are not exact due to difficulties under 2.5 kilometers of ice, experts are studying the video, investigating the creature's irregular change in shape. It initially looked like a squid, but marine biologists confirmed it was unknown. Some suggest that their abilities indicate a biosphere adapted to Antarctic ice. This finding raises questions about underexplored ecosystems and life's ability to adapt. Although more research is needed to understand the mysteries, this encounter shows the possible surprises in the Antarctic biosphere. Renowned geologists have long believed that ancient humans never settled in Antarctica because of its hostile climate. However, incredibly, in 2016 satellite images revealed a curious formation emerging from the ice, and some researchers believe it could be a man-made pyramid. Recently, there have been a number of reports about huge pyramids in Antarctica rising above the ice and looking perfect, just like those in Egypt, but surpassing them in size. One of them has perfectly square bases that span two square kilometers in each direction. It is possible, therefore, that our ancestors actually reached the Antarctic continent, perhaps even settled there, a man-made pyramid beneath the Antarctic ice. If such an incredible notion is true, then we naturally ask ourselves some questions. How was such a massive structure built in Antarctica? When was it done and by whom? We have been informed by geologists that Antarctica has been under ice for many millions of years. However, there is evidence that it may have been ice-free, at least in certain areas, until perhaps 4000 BC. There are numerous stories from Polynesia about the so-called culture heroes who came to the Antarctic continent. A French scholar named Argo compiled all of these different stories into a book titled Out of Antarctica, The Stories of the Polynesian People. They describe this strange land with white rocks emerging from the water, which are actually icebergs, and other creatures like seals and penguins, which seems to describe an area we now know as Antarctica. The Polynesian people believed this was the place of their ancestors and said, this is where we originally came from. Is it really possible that the coldest place on Earth was once warm enough for human habitation? Well, in 2017, 
German geologists collected core samples from deep beneath Antarctica's frozen seafloor to analyze what the continent's climate might have been like thousands of years ago. What they discovered was amazing. In the case of that expedition in early 2017, we used very special seabed drilling equipment that had never been used in Antarctica before. When we used this special drilling equipment, we came upon the sediments and instantly observed more than 60 different varieties of plants that resemble those one would find in a tropical rainforest in a temperature regime similar to what we know today in the north of Italy. Finding that on the Antarctic continent was very exciting because the current climate conditions do not allow any vegetation to survive in those conditions.